guys welcome back it is currently let's see 6 14 p.m and usually by this time i'm done like working out i'm done with class and i am definitely home either done with homework which is on a good day or still gonna continue working on homework on days that they leave us a lot of homework my afternoon night routine doesn't look the same every night right now though i'm gonna go get an acai not acai right now though i'm gonna go get a chia seed pudding that i made earlier today but before i go i wanted to show you guys my little outfit i mean it's not like super cute but it's comfy it's leggings this tee that's actually from urban outfitters and my brook shoes and they're just so comfortable um also around this time my room starts to get a little bit darker and i like to close my blinds so i can turn on my light in my room so let me go ahead and do that really quickly so my sister actually gifted me a candle and <laughs> She actually gifted me this black candle. It says Leo on it because she's a Leo, but I don't think she wanted it, so she gave it to me. So I'm like, yeah, I love candles. And I'm gonna light it up right now because it's gonna give us the little fall ambiance in here. I love this weather right now because usually it's literally over 100 degrees over here or super, super cold. But right now the weather is so perfect. It's like 70s maybe 80s but compared to our normal weather it's like amazing i thought i had another candle in my room i was looking for it turns out i don't i have this little candle but i've never actually like oh my god oh god <laughs> give me one second let me open this i have this one but i've actually never lit it up before because i just think it looks so cute and i don't want it to melt but I'm going to leave this one on really quickly while we go and get the acai. I keep on calling it acai while I go get the freaking chia seed pudding that I made. Yeah, I don't see the other. Um, I don't see the other candle, but let's go. So what I like to do on days that I have clinicals... I actually prepare this acai pudding the night before and then I eat it in the morning because I always like having something in my stomach before clinicals. But on days I don't have clinicals, I actually prepare this overnight like in a cup or something cute if I have something cute. And then I eat it at night and it's this. It looks a little weird but it's super good. It's just chia seeds with a little bit of like flaxseed powder and milk. At first I was questioning if I would like it because I've never had anything with tried anything that has the same texture but I did in fact really like it. I'm gonna let my dog out. Here it is in my room. Okay and while I eat this I'm actually gonna watch I finished Luckiest Girl Alive yesterday. Guys, that movie was, it literally made me cry. I swear to God, it made me cry. I don't want to ruin it, but I feel so bad um, what she went through. But at the same time, I feel like it was such an empowering film. I really loved it. I'm trying not to give out too many details in case some of you guys haven't seen it yet. So go watch it. It is rated R. Has a few like violent scenes, so I'm also disclosing that right now. However, right now I'm trying to watch. What is it called? Let's see. I always run out of breath. I always run out of breath. Whenever I'm talking to you guys, I swear to God, I always run out of breath. It's kind of embarrassing. I'm sure you guys have been able to notice by now that I'm always out of breath <laughs> in the vlogs. Okay, I found it. I've been trying to watch The Watcher. My sister already warned me ahead of time. She's like, don't watch it alone. But am I going to listen to her? No, I'm not. I'm going to watch it while I eat my, my chia seed pudding. Hello. Hello. Hi. 
baby skeleton has a hundred more bones than an adult skeleton. I can actually already tell this movie, or I don't know if it's a show. Oh, this show might be a little too scary for me. I'm trying to get into the Halloween like spirit, watch all these scary movies and look into costumes and stuff but I also am an absolute baby when it comes to like watching anything scary. I hate it but at the same time kind of like it. Mostly hate it. I actually don't know if I'm gonna watch all of this. This might be a little bit too much but if you guys have already watched it please leave it down in the comments what you guys thought of it or if you guys have like other Halloween movie suggestions also leave it down in the comments Oh wait, talking about like Halloween movies, I have never watched Hocus Pocus, but I saw that they came out with the second one. So I'm thinking it would be like a great idea, like a little date idea for me and my boyfriend to watch like both the first one and the second one because he's also never watched Hocus Pocus, but I feel like it's such a Halloween movie and I just want to get into the Halloween fall spirit, so I definitely have to watch it. We were actually thinking of going to one of his friends is having a party for Halloween. So we're thinking of maybe going there for Halloween. I'm wondering if you guys have any plans at all for Halloween. And if you guys are going to dress up. It's actually been quite a few years. It's been quite a few years since I've dressed up for Halloween. But I don't know. I'm just really feeling it this year. So because I want like some cute couple outfits and if you and your boyfriend or you or you and your significant other are dressing up please let me know and we might copy you guys <laughs> i think i'm gonna finish my pudding attempt really hard to watch a little bit more while i finish and then i'm gonna go take a shower because <laughs> i look like a freaking mess i didn't really work out at the gym today so i know my hair could be way worse if i worked out at the gym but I did go on a really long walk with my dogs, so I definitely have to shower and I just want to do my skincare routine. I love my skincare routine after a shower. I'm going to go take a really quick shower. I have all my skincare right here all the time. And so every time I'm going to take a shower, I just pull this out and has all my skincare in here. It is a lot. Yeah, it is a lot. I... I am very particular about my skincare and then I have my PJs. I love sleeping in oversized tees. So I always grab like the most oversized tee I have. And I just like bringing all my stuff to the restroom so I can do like my skincare change and everything in there. <laughs> do is my skincare I like to use this toner it's really gentle it is by Obaji it is a Susan Obaji toner I love using it so much and I use it at nighttime as you guys can tell it's almost done and honestly my skincare routine is just like my favorite part of the day it's so relaxing and it's my me time I love skincare I actually initially got into skincare because I used to have really bad acne and so because I used to have really bad acne I got into skincare and then I would go to the spas to get like a acne facial and that's how I discovered aesthetic nursing also I like to go down to my neck and my chest with my toner maybe it's just a me thing but I love doing that and I was like I want to be an aesthetic nurse I'm gonna be an aesthetic nurse and so that is my career goal still 
with some Vaseline and that really makes sure that the moisture stays locked in right there. If you get a lot of milia, then I don't think Vaseline would be the best thing for you to use underneath your eye. I don't really get milia, so that's why I use it on my eyes. I love this. The Coasterix Advanced Nail Mo Essence. I love this stuff. It's like gold. And it's not even super expensive for some reason. I'm pretty sure any skin type can can use this. I'm pretty sure. Um, so you guys should check it out if you can. And I use a lot of it because I like to go down to my neck and my chest with it too. And I've been working on growing my little bald spot back. This little bald spot here, I have a picture of when it used to be really bad, right here. I use a mix of the Olaplex number three and my little Chi brand silk oil, but I mix both of them together. And I try to put both in my hair at least three times a week, and that's what's really helping my hair grow back healthy. tired i don't know why i'm so tired so early today but nights like this happen and honestly i try to get as much sleep as i can on days that i don't have clinicals or class because when i do i get like very few hours of sleep honestly please do not forget to hit that subscribe button down below turn on your post notifications to be notified every single sunday that i upload we are so close to a thousand subscribers and i really do appreciate every single subscriber that i have on this channel and everyone that comments and consistently likes and watches my vlogs you guys mean the absolute world to me like always do not forget to leave a comment i like to pin the funniest or just like the comment that catches my most attention so i will be looking through all the comments and then i will make sure to pin my favorite comment bye guys i will see you guys next sunday with a brand new vlog <laughs> Seem like every cat ain't gotta maintain the cat. You can